If you're looking for a quick dinner, I have the perfect solution for you. It is this roasted garlic in a lemon cream sauce with a reggetti pasta, and it's super simple to make. Pronto? Allora andiamo a cucinare. Ciao my friends, welcome to my kitchen. This is where I teach you easy recipes for everyday cooking. So let's get started with today's recipe. So we want to start with some water in a uh, pot and we want to bring that to a boil. And to that we want to add about a tablespoon of sea salt. I like to use sea salt because it has a lot of good nutrients in it. And to that we want to add uh, one box, which is about a pound, of arechietti pasta. Now, if you're not familiar with what arechietti is, or you just don't understand what I'm saying, it is these little pasta shells, and they look like little ears. And in Italian, the word for ear is arechietti. Anyway, we're just gonna add that to our salted water. All right, we just wanna give that a stir, and we wanna let that cook according to the directions on our box. The other thing that you might wanna do ahead of time is to oven roast your uh, cauliflower. I like to oven roast it because I find it gives it a nice caramelization to it and um, that's one option or you could just add it to the saute pan that we're going to be using as we get uh, the rest of our ingredients ready. So you can take a whole head and break it up the florets. I know at Costco they have it already in a bag chopped up and that's totally fine too. You can use that. So I just basically took some olive oil, salt and pepper coated it placed it in the oven 425 degrees and I cooked it for 40 minutes. Now, if you're not familiar with roasting vegetables, I have a great video right here that you might wanna check out on roasting vegetables to give you some tips on how to do that. So we're just gonna set this aside for now. And so in our saucepan, we are gonna add a couple tablespoons of olive oil. And to that, we're gonna add a half an onion that we've diced up into small pieces. And I'm also gonna add four uh, cloves of garlic. Now, I like garlic, so I'm gonna add four cloves, but if, if that's too much for you, you could just add two cloves if you want, or you just don't even have to add the garlic if you don't like garlic. So we just wanna cook this up, add a little bit of salt to this, and we just wanna saute this for a couple minutes until the onions get a little bit more translucent. Okay, so now that my pasta is done, I wanna reserve some of that pasta water because that's gonna help make this um, sauce. So I just use a measuring cup, and I'll pull out about a half a cup, that should be good, of the pasta water. And you want that nice starchy pasta water because that is gonna help thicken the sauce. And now I'm just going to um, strain the noodles. The noodles, I'm gonna strain the arrochetti. And now that our onions are nice and translucent and kind of caramelized, I'm going to add our pasta noodles. You don't have to worry that they're completely um, drained because we want some of that liquid to create some of that sauce. And to that, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of butter. And I want to add uh, the juice of a lemon. And I also wanna use the, the zest, cause that actually gives even more flavor when you use the zest. Of course, you know, try to remember to get an organic lemon so you don't have the pesticides on the skin. But if you just have a conventional, just make sure you wash the skin really well to get rid of any of the, uh, the residue on there. So I'm gonna leave the zest in my zester and just set it aside for right now. Go ahead and roll that to kind of break up the inside uh, cell walls, get more juice. Cut that in half and just go ahead and add the juice of one lemon. And I'm gonna save those for later for my lemon water. Just go ahead and give that a quick toss. As it's starting to dry up here, I'm gonna add some of that pasta water. I am gonna add some capers. I really like the capers. I think they work really well with the lemon flavor. If you don't like capers, you know, that's okay. You don't have to add them. I'm gonna add some Parmesan cheese. And you can add as much or as little as you'd like. And I can see it's kind of thin here, so I do wanna add some more of this pasta water. I'll probably just add all of it. Okay, and then to this, I'm going to uh, remove it to, from the heat. I'm gonna add the cauliflower that we roasted, and I'm just gonna continue stirring this up so that the cauliflower um, kind of heats up again. We can see it's got this nice creamy sauce. We're gonna give it some more freshness by adding the fresh chopped parsley, and a rough chop is fine. We're gonna add that. I do like to add a little bit of uh, red pepper flakes, but again, that's optional. It's so about a quarter teaspoon. I am gonna add the rest of that lemon zest that we um, had reserved. I don't like to add that too early because it will um, get kind of bitter tasting the longer it cooks. So it's the last thing you wanna do. We wanna stir this up. 
It smells so good, I love this. And the last thing I wanna add in here is some cracked pepper. And of course, we do wanna taste it for salt. And I usually do that at the end because the uh, Parmesan cheese is salty, so I don't wanna over salt. Okay, so now we want to um, plate this. And again, this is something that's perfect. You can use it, it could be your main dish, it could be a side dish. I would serve maybe a filet of fish or a chicken breast with this, it would be perfect, or a salad. Let's go ahead and give this one a try. Mm, I love the roasted flavor of the cauliflower. It's, it really gives it a nice sweetness, plus the freshness of the lemon and the parsley and the um, the capers, it's just, it really reminds me of spring. So I hope you guys give this one a try. And until next time, I'm Chef Lucia and I'll see ya. Ciao. Ci vediamo dopo.